Hello folks, welcome to this trip report with British Airways' Airbus A320. Today we're going to be flying from London Heathrow from Terminal 5 to Portugal's Lisbon Airport. I booked a Club Europe ticket and I was intrigued to see what it was like after the pandemic. So let's get checked in and find out. After a breeze through check-in and security, there was only one place I'd be going to and that was the British Airways South Lounges. Located in the main building of T5, the South Lounges is the flagship of British Airways and includes an interesting selection of their history and art. Being BA's flagship lounge, it is massive. The South Lounge is huge. Even though it was August and on a Saturday at 8 in the evening, there was plenty of seats available. The lounge offers an extensive selection of drinks. And if you're hungry, not to worry because there is plenty to offer, including a salad bar, some cold selections and also a wide range of hot food. After a relaxing few hours at the lounge it was time to make my way to the gate. Today's flight was at gate B35 which is situated at one of the satellite buildings at T5. Arriving at our gate, I realised that we were parked next to Golf Yankee Mike Mike Lima, otherwise known as the British Airways Boeing 777 featuring the Great Festival of Creativity in Shanghai. After a bit of a wait, we were finally boarding our Airbus A320. The aircraft today was an Airbus A320-200 series, which had been recently updated with BA's new cabin. The aircraft seats were configured in a 3-3 single aisle configuration, with the front business class seats in a 2-2 configuration with the middle seat booked out. While we wait for boarding to finish, let's have a quick look at the seat. This is a standard business class seat that you'll find across all British Airways short haul flights. However, on this updated cabin, I found the seats to have slightly less legroom than on the original. However, for the distance that we're flying and the time, it's perfectly fine for me. A new feature that I am so pleased to see on board British Airways short haul flights is that BA have finally started putting Wi Fi on board their short haul aircraft. As well as Wi-Fi, you'll also have a power socket on each row of the seats. Although it's taken BA a long time to fit this, I am so glad it's now in action. In no time at all, we were already starting to push back from the gate. However, little did we know it was not going to be that simple. After waiting what seemed to take a very long time, our pilot came over onto the tannoy to announce that there would be a delay and we had to go back to the gate. It seems there was a problem with one of the doors. Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, captain once more. Well, as you probably realise, we haven't uh, taxied away from our parking stand despite having started our engines. We've got uh, a little problem with the uh, 
cabin slide, uh, emergency slide on the one of the rear doors, we can't put it into its armed uh, automatic position, which is what we need to do before we uh, take off. So uh, we're just going to go back onto uh, the parking stand and uh, one of our engineers is going to come along and have a quick look at it for us and sort the problem out. So it shouldn't take too long. Uh, they're on their way now as we speak and uh, we'll be back on stand in a few minutes' time. And then underway very shortly after that. Thanks very much. As we wait for the issue to be resolved, let's have a look at the cabin. The cabin consists of new LED lighting as well as individual LED reading lights. You also get an individual air vent for every seat. Each seat has two compartments for storage, one at the top of the seat and a little net compartment on the bottom. This is where the reading material, such as the safety card, was also stored, as well as the sick bag. As mentioned previously, the seat is divided in a 2-2 configuration with the middle seat blocked out. Each middle seat is fitted with this hard shelf unit, which is also padded. The seat itself is also padded with a good amount of adjustability, including adjustability with the headrest. You'll also find a handy coat hook available on each seat. After about 30 minutes, the maintenance team done their magic and we were finally on our way. It wasn't too long before we were pushing back. After a few minutes after takeoff, the crew started their in flight service and started to hand out antibacterial wipes, which came in handy for me as my seat, unfortunately, the tray was a little bit dirty.
The in-flight bar service was started and I was pleased to see the selection on offer. Today's choice for me was a vodka and coke. The crew also handed out a bag of mixed nuts. Unfortunately, like most European airlines, British Airways does not offer any in-flight entertainment screens on short-haul flights, so bring your own device. You can connect to the Wi-Fi, but you will need to pay for the internet package. This can be up to £20, and in my case, I chose not to purchase it. Okay, let's talk about the British Airways in-flight meal service. If you're in economy class, it's a buy on board service. A small drinks and snack is available and handed out free of charge, but after that you have to pay. For business class passengers, however, you're given this menu card with a set menu to choose from. I chose the beef with mashed potatoes and boy did I choose right. I can't believe I am saying this but this had to be the nicest beef I have ever had let alone in the sky. It was melt in the mouth, perfectly cooked and it was super tasty. Top marks BA, top marks. I ended the meal service with a cup of tea and just in case I was still a bit peckish along with that was a piece of shortbread now if you watch my videos you'll know that i also review the tea on board any flight and as always british airways has to be up there when it comes to high scoring for a good cup of tea in the air you'll be surprised many airlines don't do so well and just like that we were near the end of our flight so let's have a quick look at the toilets. For a three hour flight, the toilet was nice and clean and had a good selection of hand lotions. Well folks, that was it. Our three and a half hour flight was over. We had arrived in Lisbon and in summary, I was really impressed with the new service that British Airways has recently updated. It seems that it's going in the right direction and the quality of food has drastically improved. As always with BA, the crew were amazing. They were so friendly and welcoming. I really felt relaxed. So that's it for me for this trip review. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I hope if you enjoyed it, hit that like button as well. So to the next time, see you and goodbye.